everyone. As you can see, I'm in the city of Melbourne, which is now my hometown. The sun is shining and it's really, really warm. So their winter is definitely going to be different to the UK's winter. Um, this month's been a busy month. I had my birthday at the beginning of the month, um, I was 24. Uh, then I went off to swim at the Australian Trials, which was in Sydney. Um, again, got sick, so I didn't swim uh, amazingly, but it was about 0.6 off my personal best, so not too bad. Um, we then spent the weekend sightseeing in Sydney. Um, I have got a bit of a video clip of a swimming pool, um, which you'll see uh, would be an ideal place to train on a sunny day anyway, not so cool if it's raining. Um, I'm in Sydney at the moment, raced at the um, Australian Trials last week um, and now I'm looking at the sights of Sydney. As you can see behind me, there's an awesome swimming pool which I uh, wish I could train in every day. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, film some, uh, some images of Sydney for you. Uh, so I hope everyone got their uh, Olympic ticket applications in. The deadline was last week. Um, I think 20 million people applied for the tickets, but there's only 6 million tickets actually available. So um, so basically it's going to be fingers crossed and hope that they uh, pull your name out the drawer and that you get a ticket. So uh, so good luck and, uh, and I hope most of you get the tickets that you applied for. This month's training is about building a fitness base. Um, that's basically just sort of getting the fitness back, getting back into training, you know, doing the full sessions. Um, full, you know, full week of weeks of training. Um, really focusing on my my arm pull at the moment. I think I've mentioned this before that my 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 breaststroke pull is quite weak compared to like Lisa Jones and Sarah Katsulis, the two girls that I train with. And um, my coach says, you know, if I can get my my breaststroke pull right and the timing of when I breathe, it will make a difference to how I swim. Um, basically. If you look at a video, there's a wave that sits um, on your back when you swim breaststroke, but that wave needs to be sort of at the back of your knees rather than sat, than sat on your back and on your hips because then there's less resistance in the water. So at the moment, I'm just trying to sort of get the feel for where the wave should be. And, um, you know, once I get the arm strokes right and the breathing right, then hopefully, you know, with the, my leg kick, it'll all come together and and then hopefully, you know, I'll have less resistance and that'll make me swim quicker. So really that's what I'm doing this month is just getting fit and, and working on that. And um, then hopefully through June and July, um, we'll work on really specific um, race pace stuff because I'm racing short course um, Australian Nationals in July. So it's a case of then just preparing to, to race there. been getting quite run down and ill recently so um, to try and prevent this I take um, vitamins so I've been taking lots of vitamin C, multivitamins, um, I take zinc um, also with along with those I take uh, fish oils and glucosamine that's more to sort of for my hip rather than my illness um, but yeah once I, I feel that I'm get, getting ill I tend to take a lot more of the vitamin C and the zinc just to try and help you know keep away the the germs and keep away the bugs so um so yeah that's what I take vitamin wise um in training I take um I get sponsored by um, a company called High Five and so I have their energy bars which I um take the pool and energy gels um I can take these during the sessions they just help me you know recover better and they keep me going through the session. Um, I also have uh, recovery drinks and recovery bars as well for after the session which you know get food and drink into me straight away so then I recover for the, for the next day. Training starts properly with the group on Monday morning so we're back to normal so I'll start doing the, um, the day in the life of, of me uh, starting next week and uh, we'll feature that in my next video blog so Right now I'm off to do a bit of shopping in the sunshine, so I'll see you next month.